The human brain offers numerous questions regarding its functionality and usability. As humans do, being curious by nature, we try to crack the codes and unravel the mysteries withheld by our brain using the very same brain to do so. This concept of self-analysis may sound a little daunting, but there has been a vast amount of study of this philosophy that has been undertaken throughout history. This is called epistemology. Epistemology is the philosophical study of what is required in order to have rational beliefs and knowledge, or, the short answer, is the theory of knowledge. This video aims to define the epistemology of music by breaking down the Australian music curriculum draft and analysing what is important and what it means to know music. An analysis will be undertaken of Akara's beliefs on what musical knowledge is in relation to what other educated philosophers have mentioned, and combine them to create a conclusive epistemology of music. In the 18th and 19th century, music making was common in the world. The wealthy hired musicians to play to them as well as with them. Middle class homes would engage in music making at social occasions and meal times, and lower class citizens made music while undergoing whatever labour they endured as well as when they are around company at social occasions. Though it has now become an embarrassing and seemingly judged task to create music in front of people. So this leads us to ask, does the epistemology of a subject change throughout time? If it does, is it still changing? Are there constants? First, let's look at music as a subject of study. Music can be broken down into three main learning categories. Practice, theory, and skills. Practice involves musical ability in playing an instrument, singing, or creating music by any other means. The theory of music involves both oral and written. The oral being able to identify patterns, intervals, and chord quality, and written history, composition, critiques. Finally, skills are the basic cognitive ability needed to achieve competency and improve within both the practice and theory categories. In the Australian Music Curriculum Draft, ACARA focuses on creating, performing, listening, responding, and exploring. Split into our three groups, we would get creating in theory, performing in practice, and listening, responding, and exploring as the cognitive skills. ACARA highlights that the epistemology of music also includes and relies on individual cultures, values, ideas. These three categories enable students to listen with intent, which underpins all music activity. So, in a classroom environment, students are prepared with skills before they undertake the theoretical and practical aspects of the subject. Knowledge is justified true belief, and there are various types of knowledge within epistemology, and with a combination of these comes the episteme of any given subject area. These knowledge types include Empiricism, which is to gain knowledge via experience of the senses such as touch, smell, and sight. Hey Chris, you think it's safe to drink from a fire hose? Why not, Dad? It's just water. Alright, well turn it on. I'm very thirsty. Nice job, Chris. You got my shirt wet. Rationalist, which is knowledge gained through reason. There is propositional knowledge, the knowledge of facts. Where the hell have you been for the last few days? Deep sea fishing? You hate fishing. Went with my buddies. You don't have any buddies. Oh, yeah? Well, we landed a 200-pound white marlin off the coast of San Diego. Interesting. Because that's 3,000 miles from the natural habitat of the white marlin. Hmm. Well, perhaps it hopped a train from Cape Cod. Why? I'm busting chops today. You can ask anybody. It's true. And practical knowledge. How to do things in practice. Never should have stolen this film. Oh man, this is even more intense in that time I forgot how to sit down. The epistemology of music includes elements of all of these, though it largely focuses on propositional and practical knowledge, so making music and knowing facts about how to make music. The current epistemology of music is based heavily on practice, theory, and skills to attempt to bring back some musical culture into society and promote music making in future generations. 
As mentioned earlier, this is in contrast to our 18th and 19th century everyday musicians. Music has always involved these three categories. However, the focus of music back in the 18th and 19th century was for entertainment and socialising, whereas in today's society, music is largely created for financial gain and directed at listeners rather than participants. So yes, some uses for music have changed, but there have always been key epistemic elements that define what it means to know music. Therefore, the epistemology of music has remained the same. Or has it? No, it has. We've just been through this.